Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Jennifer Aydin questions why Dolores Catania doesn't defend her on RHONJ. Maybe she doesn't like me that much. Jennifer Aydin has been friends with Dolores Catania for years, but their bond was tested on The Real Housewives of New Jersey season 14. Viewers have criticized Dolores throughout the years for rarely picking sides and staying on good terms with the entire cast. At times during season 14, it seemed like she was finally picking a side. Then, as the season concluded, she was again friendly with the entire cast. In a new All About the Real Housewives podcast interview, Jennifer said there's no bad blood between her and Dolores. We don't really talk, the 47-year-old added, revealing that her co-star has been busy since filming Wrapped on Arit Ajoin J season 14. Jennifer then expressed disappointment with Dolores telling Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live that she would bring Teresa Gudis and Jen Fessler back for season 15. Dolores ruffled feathers with a WWHL appearance. The mother of five said she reached out to Dolores and that her supposed friends said she initially wanted to bring every cast member back but was pushed to pick just two. Jennifer said she doesn't fully understand why Dolores yelled at her during Teresa's Namaste B. Dollarches live podcast event, either. I'm just wondering why is it your instinct to always be against me? That's weird when you're friends with someone, Jennifer added on the podcast. She then mentioned the season finale taping, when Danielle Cabral threw a picture at her, and Teresa tried to defend her. Dolores didn't do a thing during the altercation. Jennifer said that her autopilot on the show is to defend both Teresa and Dolores, so it's disconcerting that Dolores doesn't ride for her the same way. Ultimately, Jennifer wonders whether Dolores likes her as much as she likes her. Jennifer is ready to tell her side of the story. I love her to death, but it is what it is. She's not going to pick me. I'm not going to be her first choice, and we're good, the veteran cast member added. Jennifer has already called out Danielle Cabral on the podcast, and revealed what didn't make it to the screen. She also called out Margaret Josephs for burning her while filming the series. The podcast appearance comes as producers and Bravo, Mol R. Isho and Jay's future. Details have trickled out that the cast will be revamped for season 15 to take the show in a different direction. We probably shouldn't expect any announcements about who will return until 2025. Jennifer Aydin and Dolores Catania's relationship on The Real Housewives of New Jersey has always been complicated, but things reached a boiling point when Jennifer began questioning why Dolores wasn't defending her in the group. This tension came to light during a recent episode, where Jennifer, in her signature candid style, wondered aloud, maybe she doesn't like me that much. This candid comment sparked a whirlwind of speculation among fans of RHONJ. Why wouldn't Dolores, someone who has often portrayed herself as loyal and protective of her friends, come to Jennifer's aid during conflicts with the other cast members? After all, both women have shared the stage of dramatic showdowns, family dilemmas, and social tension over several seasons. At the heart of this tension seems to be a deeper issue between the two Jersey housewives. Jennifer and Dolores couldn't be more different in their approach to conflict. Jennifer is known for her fiery personality and unfiltered opinions, never shying away from a good fight. Whether she's calling out someone's behavior or defending her own, she holds nothing back, for better or worse. Dolores, on the other hand, is a little more measured and pragmatic. While she's tough and can certainly stand her ground, she often prefers to avoid unnecessary drama, keeping her head above the fray. These contrasting personalities have come into sharp focus this season, Dolores' more diplomatic approach to the group's turmoil may have left Jennifer feeling like she's been left out in the cold. When Margaret Josephs, one of Jennifer's fiercest rivals on the show, began stirring the pot once again, Jennifer expected Dolores to have her back. But instead of defending Jennifer's position, Dolores seemed more neutral, leaving Jennifer to fend for herself in the crossfire of drama. Jennifer's feelings of betrayal stem from the fundamental values of loyalty that she holds dear. In her mind, friends are supposed to stand by each other, especially in a close-knit group where alliances are everything. It's not just about being right or wrong, it's about who shows up when the going gets tough. And for Jennifer, Dolores' silence during heated arguments feels like a glaring absence. But Dolores might see things differently. 
Her stance on conflict, especially in the often volatile Arakitawenji environment, has always been one of balance. She has deep ties with many of the women in the group, including Margaret, and seems to prefer to play the role of mediator, rather than taking sides. In her world, staying neutral may be her way of keeping the peace, ensuring that she doesn't alienate anyone in the process. However, Jennifer isn't convinced that neutrality is the answer. In her eyes, silence can be just as damaging as an outright betrayal. If Dolores is unwilling to speak up on her behalf, maybe it's a sign that she's not as invested in their friendship as Jennifer thought. Hence the bold question. Maybe she doesn't like me that much. The fallout from this tension has left that RHONG fanbase divided. Some viewers sympathize with Jennifer, agreeing that Dolores should have been more vocal in her support. After all, Jennifer has never shied away from defending her friends, even when it puts her in the line of fire. Others, however, see Dolores' approach as one of wisdom and maturity, understanding that in a group full of strong personalities, taking sides can lead to even bigger problems down the road. On a deeper level, the relationship between Jennifer and Dolores reflects some of the broader themes of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Loyalty, betrayal, and the complexities of female friendships are at the core of the series, and this conflict only serves to highlight how easily things can unravel when expectations clash. For Jennifer, loyalty means unwavering support, even if it means stepping into the fray. For Dolores, loyalty might mean something a bit more nuanced, being a friend without being dragged into the drama. Of course, our energy thrives on these kinds of conflicts. The show's very fabric is woven with the threads of tension, loyalty tests, and emotional outbursts. It's what keeps viewers coming back season after season, eager to see how these larger-than-life personalities will clash and hopefully reconcile. But for Jennifer and Dolores, this particular rift feels like more than just a passing disagreement. There's something personal about Jennifer's questioning of Dolores' loyalty, a hurt that runs deeper than the usual housewives' squabbles. Will Dolores step up and prove her loyalty to Jennifer, or will she continue to walk the delicate line of neutrality, hoping to keep the peace with all sides of the group? And more importantly, will Jennifer be able to move past this feeling of betrayal, or is this the beginning of a permanent rift between the two? As with all things Real Housewives, it's hard to predict what will happen next. Emotions run high and relationships are tested in every episode. But one thing is for sure— Jennifer Iden's bold question about Dolores Catania's loyalty has set the stage for what promises to be one of the most dramatic storylines of the season. Fans will be watching closely to see how this friendship unfolds, and whether the two women can find common ground amidst the chaos of Arachiro and Jay. Perhaps, at the heart of it all, Jennifer just wants to know that she matters to Dolores, that their friendship means as much to Dolores as it does to her. After all, in the world of The Real Housewives, loyalty isn't just expected, it's demanded. And for Jennifer, anything less feels like a betrayal. Whether Dolores steps up or not remains to be seen, but one thing is clear. This tension isn't going away anytime soon.